Today in Talks with Santa Rosa, I have a throwback. I met Joyce Grable in 2018 at WOW uh, in season one, and she is a open book of knowledge of wrestling. She is a Hall of Famer. She actually has a ring. And if you don't know, she used to wrestle between, let's see, 1963 to 1974. She's a retired wrestler and she was trained by Fabio's Mula. Um, some of the things that she did is she held the NWA United States Women's Championship once and the NWA Women's World Tag Team Championships four times with Vicky Williams. So it's this interview is fantastic. It's only seven minutes. She has so much to say and so much to share to the world about professional wrestling. So give it a uh, give it a look, give it a like. Uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, watch it. If you have seen it, watch it again. You probably will learn something else. So again, thank you so much for being in uh, my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, and visit thunderrosa.net so you can get some cool merchandise. Enjoy, guys. Last couple of days I've been talking to different people in the business and I just met a wonderful lady that I personally didn't met her before and she's one of the legendaries, legendaries, veterans in the business. Please introduce yourself to my YouTube people. I am the one and only Joyce Scrabble, four times world's champion, twice the United States champion, and so I've done it all and got a ring to prove it. What is that ring? It's the Professional Wrestling Hall of Fame ring. Did you get that? Is that from the Texas one? Uh, the te Wichita. Wichita? Ooh, I gotta go but, to Wichita. But I got it when it was still in uh, New York oh. the, before it moved to Wichita Falls. Uh, but I really enjoyed every moment of being in the wrestling world. I got to go everywhere, got paid for it, and had so much fun, nobody could accomplish what I accomplished. Well, just the fact that you have that ring right here, Miss Chiller Ring. Right. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, right there. I have uh, never met anybody that has a Hall of Fame ring. Oh, okay. I think this is really cool. Who was your trainer? Uh, I, I trained at Muller School, but Vicki Williams and Donna Christiantello, they mainly were out in the gym with me. Uh, in fact, we, Vicki Williams and I won the World's Tag Team Champion uh, when I had only been wrestling two years. And so they had a lot of confidence in me. But, remind you, within two weeks of training, I could throw head scissors and drop kicks. After I learned how to take a bump, I could do all of that, and so I was a natural. Ooh. Is there any like stuff online that we can see you, or I can like add on? Oh, YouTube has about a hundred matches of uh, uh, Vicky Williams and myself, me with a lot of other girls, but Wendy Richter. I trained Wendy Richter too. She did a thing with Cindy Lauper oh, back at WWE. Yes. Uh, and so we were tag team champions, world champions twice. And if you go on there, be sure and check out the uh, Joyce Grable and Judy Martin against the men. That's all you have to put Where in. Was he and about? you will see us show you how to go out to the ring not knowing nothing about the other two people, how to go out there and wrestle. And to just, they all they said to us was, the men will go over. You'll know it when it happens. Well, we didn't have a script. We didn't have, hey, I'm going to do this, and you need to do that, and I'm going to... Do you, do, you like, do you like that style better than, you know, having a script or having a story of already? Of course. I think... When you don't have a script, you can go out there and have fun. You can have fun, enjoy it, call it then. If you don't have to wrestle, you can get me in any hole and I can get out of it. If not, you always got the ropes. <laughs> that's the truth, that's the truth. So tell us one of your, I'll say, one of your favorite stories that you tell all the time 
and then one of the things that uh, you wish you would have done? Wow, wish I had done. I really can't think of nothing I wish I had done. I think I did everything. We accomplished the two girls against the two guys in the Omni mm -hmm. in Atlanta in 83, the first time that happened. I popped out of a box, beat Malenko with flowers and stuff. Uh, I went to El Salvador. I wrestled with the ring on top rope on fire. I, I boxed you a boxed? match. Yes. Oh, it is so hard to do. <laughs> to box, oh, no, I know. I've taken some boxing classes. To wrestle, to wrestle and have boxing gloves on, oh. you cannot, you don't realize how much you use your hands oh, yeah. to throw a drop kick until you got boxing gloves on. Yeah. And so Look it is pretty. really good. I mean, it, it, it's hard, but I learned a whole lot. What is one thing you will tell people like me or the, the new generation about wrestling, women's wrestling? Have fun. When you stop having fun, get out. Because once you're not having fun, you're not going to be good at it. Have a ball. Absorb everything. Someone that knows more than you can tell you. Absorb it. Use it. And most of us legends, older, in <laughs> another word, uh, will be glad to help you overcome anything. I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's drugs, how to get a hold on someone, how, you know, how to stop anything. You get in touch with one of us, we will talk you through anything. Well, thank you so much. It was been, it's been a pleasure. I honestly have learned a lot from listening to you, listening to uh, Bambi, and just like going over the history of women's wrestling here in the United States, and also like talking about some of the stuff that we were talking about, about Mexico and like people that you know. Oh, that I like. loved Mexico. <laughs> but, and you know, I trained Bambi in my backyard. I, I did not know that. Oh yeah, I trained her in my backyard. We set up a ring. I trained Bambi. She had her first matches with me. And then I called Moolah to get her book through Moolah some match to get her more work. And then she just flew. She took her wings and flew where she wanted to go. And I am so proud of her. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> and I'm very proud to meet you, too. See? See? She likes me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs>